Also developing now, the hunt for answers in this Kissimmee Hotel Inferno. Hundreds evacuated the intense flames just days before Christmas. Now, more than a week later, police zero in on their person of interest, finally revealing the name of the man seen in this grainy surveillance video, or these pictures here, moments before the first response at the Uno Boutique Hotel. News 6 reporter Troy Campbell joins us live with these new developments for us. Troy. Well, Matt, the hotel tells me today that all of this rubble that you see behind me come Monday, they're going to start to clear all of this out. This as the state fire marshal's office says they've identified the person seen in surveillance video just moments before that fire started. These surveillance images showing a person of interest, the state fire marshal's office has been trying to locate for weeks, now identified as Kevin Stewart. Investigators making it clear Stewart is not a suspect, and their detectives simply want to speak with them. Fire officials released these images about four days after the fire they say was intentionally set, asking for help to put a name to the face. The Uno Boutique Hotel says the surveillance video does not show Stewart lighting anything on fire. Officials say someone ignited several mattresses outside the hotel just two days before Christmas. The hotel says 12 families had their belongings destroyed and everyone who was staying at the hotel has been able to return to get all of their personal items out of their rooms. The Red Cross helped relocate a couple hundred fire victims to area hotels until they could find a new place to stay. Osceola County also asked for donations from the public to help the families get back on their feet so close to Christmas. Despite identifying this man as Kevin Stewart, the fire marshal's office says it still hasn't been able to locate him. And the hotel tells me they've been spending their days filling out insurance paperwork and also offering refunds to everyone who is staying here at the hotel. And the fire marshal's office also says they are offering up a cash reward to anyone with information on who started this fire. Matt. All right, Troy Campbell, live. Thank you.